Good morning. This is Alonzo from alonzosblog.com. I was 16 years in Scientology, 15 years in anti-Scientology, and now I've been eight years out of both, writing about and commenting on each. Today will be about tax exemption, and I will show you the clear path to getting tax exemption revoked for the Church of Scientology. Marty, Mike, and Dave have fair gamed Jerry Armstrong for 40 years. Why do you think that is? It's because of Scientology's tax exemption. Marty Rathbun, Mike Render, and David Miscavige were the architects of going to the IRS and not blackmailing them. That is a sure story. They did not blackmail the IRS to get tax exemption, but they did do something else. First, I will establish what Mike Render himself has said about his role in the Scientology tax exemption right here. I attended numerous meetings at the IRS during the exemption process, and I oversaw the collection and preparation of all of the documents presented to the IRS. So there we have somebody on record, Mike Rinder himself, stating that he knows everything that they told the IRS in order to get tax exemption. You'll notice he's always let the idea that they blackmailed the IRS in order to get tax exemption. He's never debunked that because that is hiding what actually did occur. Here's the thing, IRS tax exemption, that phrase, most people's eyes glaze over. They glaze over at the word tax, a three letter word. So I am going to be merciful to you today and I'm going to keep this very simple. Jerry Armstrong has told me that his response to being fair gamed for 40 years straight is just to document everything. Document, document, document. As a result, there is a library of Alexandria filled with information about all kinds of things, but especially regarding his role as linchpin in the IRS Scientology agreement and how Jerry Armstrong can and undo all of it. For all of you out there that do have expertise, whose eyes don't glaze over when they hear IRS tax exemption, I'm going to give you the links necessary for you to dig and help out here because we definitely need help. But I'm going to be very merciful on you and keep this short and concise. And I have two paragraphs to read you. Jerry says this. Here's a page I posted in 2015. There are naturally many years of evidence of the Scientologists' public policy violating activities since their exemption reaping submission. Their actions against me in violation of public policy started during the Hubbard regime and have not stopped throughout the Miscavige regime. This insignificant part, the Scientologists' actions targeting me as an SP or enemy comprise a conspiracy against rights. 18 USC 241, which clearly is against public policy. The Scientologists' public policy violation in targeting me in their submissions to the IRS are stunning. And then this paragraph. This is to Marty Rathbun in 2015. As you well know, I have beseeched you fairly determinedly for several years to step up and tell what you know from your time in the Sea Org about fair gaming me and people close to me, particularly Jerry's lawyer, Michael Flynn. Where your actions and information are extremely important is in the matter of what was done that violated public policy to obtain Scientology's IRS tax exemption. This undeserved exemption has allowed the Scientologists to further violate public policy and good people's rights with virtual impunity. This is the linchpin. This is how we get rid of Scientology's tax exemption. The violations in their submissions to gain tax exemption is their Achilles heel. And Jerry, with his legal standing, is the person who can undo this. Please help. Like, subscribe, share. If you have expertise in this area, please let us know. I will be having Jerry on for further interviews in the upcoming weeks where we will be discussing these things. But if you want to know why Jerry Armstrong is the most fair game person in Scientology history, it's because of this. And Marty Rathbun, Mike Rinder, and David Miscavige know that he is the person where they can lose everything. Thanks for all your support. Keep listening. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep donating. I'm saving up money for private investigators. I have a whole list of things that never have been investigated. Thank you very much.
over and out.